Good morning everybody, welcome to Foodie Paradise Island with Denise Roy and today is my last day at home in Quebec before I leave for my five and a half week vacation. So I've been trying to pass all my older fruits and I've been doing great but today's the last day so what better way to pass older fruit than to make either smoothies or a kind of morning porridge. So that's what I made this morning for the children. I have five bowls for my five little children. <laughs> and what I put in the Vitamix, it was really, really full. There were five pucked apples, three bananas, about two cups of the pineapples that had been in the fruit salad but were left at the end. So two cups of pineapples, one and a half cups of oatmeal, one package of soft, like dessert style maple tofu, and three tablespoons of chia seeds, and I believe that's it. So it gives a very delicious, healthy, consistent morning breakfast. And there's about half of a cup left that I'll probably taste or separate, but I'll probably have a little bit. Okay, so that was excellent to pass my fruit. As for myself, I already had half of this melon and I did have a hot cereal drink. And now I must, it's a little late, but better late than never. I'll be having my 1.5 liters of lemon water. Now, this ripe fruit mush mush is fantastic. And I got supplements from the children also. I shouldn't leave my compost on the porch. <laughs> the skunk had really lots of fun last night, but it was fun because I was observing him. I was like through the door, but maybe one, two feet away from him. Such a cutie. He's pretty spoiled, isn't he? I want to show you guys and girls which foods I decided to bring with me on the trip. Not to eat while I'm going to Florida, but to prepare my foods while I'm there for five to six weeks. Okay, it will take place in the luggage, but it will save me lots of money. Because it's the kind of foods that if you buy in small quantities, they're expensive and I don't want to buy large quantities over there. Or it's dried fruit, dried foods that I prepared here in my dehydrator and that I want to eat you know, in the next like, month or so, because I've already had some for quite a while. So here we go. I started with preparing some little Ziplocs of seeds, sprouting seeds, because my mother does have the jars and the rack over there to grow sprouts. So I have the crunchy bean mix, which is so, so good on salads, or the girls love them steamed with the rice or something like that. Then I made myself a mixture of fenugreek, radish and clove they all grow at the same pace so they're all ready together and they make a delicious combination and this one is the simple alfalfa which the kids love here are my fats okay i'm bringing about two cups of cashews maybe a bit more because my mom lives in a condo full of italians and they often get together downstairs and eat so much so so much and I would like to bring them a raw vegan version of the cheese or something just for us. Okay, the kids love it. So I'll make one batch of cheese. Even though I won't have my Vitamix, I'll see if it works in a regular blender. Pine nuts, uh, chia seeds, and hemp seeds. Okay, so just reasonable quantities to be able to make dressings or to sprinkle on my salads, chia seeds in the water to keep me full when I go to the beach. <laughs> Here I have some raw dehydrated pumpkin seeds with different flavors. This one has dill and I forget what I put into them actually. Then I'm bringing my dates of course. One container because I don't want them to dry out before I come back. Then I have two bags of sun-dried tomatoes that I had open. This is also good for dressings or soups, things like that. There we go. Then I have dried bananas that are all ready. I would like to make ban date and banana, uh, what do you call them? When I roll them up, okay, they're so delicious. That's a sweet dessert. Then here I have my pumpkin jerky that's been ba made for quite a while. So I'm gonna go through that, super to munch on. I actually, I might have some of these with me during the trip. They have no fat, they're so delicious. So I wanna go through these. 
here I have some turnip crackers, turnip carrot and apple crackers that I made quite a while ago and that I want to eat up. I love these with salads with a few figs and they're really, really good. Here are my raw apple rolls, okay, apple leather. So this is always good also. I might have some on the trip and the girls love them instead of desserts. Here are also some rolls, but these are veggie. So I make tortillas with these. And of course I want to bring some nori rolls. Two new packs and one that's open because I love my raw sushi. And I'm bringing my bamboo mat to roll them up. A bag of chips, apple chips. Some dry prunes, okay, I don't go to the bathroom as much as I want. It's not bad at all. I go every day, but I would like to go more. So I think I'll get in the habit of having two soaked prunes every morning. And my mom wants to start eating with me while she's with me over there, eating like me, hoping to detox her body a bit. So I'll have her start her day with two uh, soaked prunes as well. I have cranberries. That's for the girls. Here I have some dried figs that I'll put in a Ziploc. I like those, like I said, chopped up in my salads. And that's pretty much it. So I think this will give me a head start and I'll just have to buy produce over there. Maybe a few things, of course, but mainly produce. So I'll save a lot and I'll have my yummy treats. I just wanted to tell you how much this is a a delicious lunch for me. I love these cactus pears. They're so mild. They taste like paradise. <laughs> so, so good. So I'll mm -hmm. have 14 of these cactus pears, which gives me a total of 550 calories, plus 50 from that little bit of mush mush I had, and another 500 for the canary melon I ate. So I'm at 1100 calories up to now today. So first snack this afternoon I had half of a papaya and a quarter cup of pumpkin seeds. Now for dinner I have this beautiful salad, mixed greens, spinach, alfalfa, tomatoes, mushrooms, red onions. And next to it I have my squash, my butter no, like buttercup squash that I had to eat but I decided to cook it. I put a few carrots into it and it's a puree. I was hesitating between cooking it, but I really prefer it cooked, and I figured even Ravenna now cooks her squash, so why not, right? I'm crazy for loving you, my mother dear, you make my heart pound. Hi everybody, so excuse my face, I'm a little emotional, I'm gonna miss my teenagers and my husband, so. I better not think of it. So, so that dinner was super, super good, okay? I used the cooked squash as a kind of dressing. I would eat a, take a bunch and eat it with a bite of salad. It was delicious. So this is what I'm bringing. Actually, I'm leaving towards two in the morning for my trip to Florida, and I'll arrive in Florida towards one or 1.30, okay? So I don't need that much food. So. I will have, I just juiced five grapefruit. It gave two and a half cups of grapefruit juice. So this, of course, I have to drink before I cross to get on the plane. And then it may look strange, but it's very, I think it's gonna be very good. I have leftover spinach on the bottom. And over it, I put, there are three persimmons sliced up, about five cactus pears that I just scooped out and here I have one regular pear. So look, this is going to be a beautiful, colorful, healthy lunch. And with that, I have some dried fruit, okay? I have plenty of dried fruit, so I can have dates, dried bananas. I even have a few nuts if I need, but I'll keep my fat for the night, I think. So I'm ready for my trip, guys. Thank you for watching me today. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe if you haven't. You can leave me comments. I love, 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 love reading your comments and I answer back to you. It touches me so much. And what else was I going to say? I don't know when I'll be able to make a video, okay? I don't know how much 
the access I'll have to internet over there. I will be making videos, but I don't know when I'll be able to upload them. So until then, bye everybody. And I'll see you or you'll see me somewhere hot, maybe on the beach, eating melons. Ta-ta!